So one of the more common places that some of our athletes have pain is right in the front of their knee. We may have seen videos or at competitions, kids walking around with straps around their knees, kids with KT tape on their knees, and those things are helpful in the moment, but they really don't fix the problem. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to do an assessment to see if this one common issue that most young athletes have is what's going on with you, and we're gonna show you how to do one thing that's gonna to help to get rid of the pain in the front of your knee. Okay, so there are a lot of conditions that can give you pain in the front of your knee, and they have big funny names like patellar tendonitis and Osgood Schlatter and Sending Larsen Johansson syndrome, and we could go on and on and on. But what we're talking about is pain right at the front of the knee, just below the kneecap. So one of the more common issues that our young athletes have that creates pain in the front of the knee is that they are quad dominant. What that means is they use their quad muscles to do almost everything they do with very little help from our hamstrings and our glutes. And the way we can find this out is with a really simple squat test. So, if you are squatting and you notice that you drift forward and your chest is dropping and that causes pain in the front of your knee, it's highly likely that you are squatting with only your thighs. And it will look a lot like this. So as we can see, I'm tilting forward a whole lot, which is putting a lot of force on the front of my knee not really a whole lot in the back of the leg, like our hamstrings and our glutes. If you try to sit back in the squat and this happens, that pretty much confirms that you're not comfortable using your glutes and hamstrings to squat down. So we need to get that better. So what we can do is very, very, very simple. We, instead of laying out a really convoluted rehab plan, what we can do is one simple exercise to start to improve your comfort level with sitting back into your squat. All you have to do is find something that you can sit down on. And the reason for that is most people, when they sit back, will keep their body upright more and will be comfortable sitting back because there's something back there that's gonna catch them. So when you go to sit down, it looks like this. Now, if we can find a height that we're comfortable sitting back, tapping our butt, and standing back up, that's the first step in fixing this forward lean. From there, all we would do is start to work our way down lower and lower and lower until we're able to get into a full squat without our knee hurting. Now again, the most important thing here is making sure that we're sitting the butt back and not drifting our body forward. And even if that's only this much, that's okay, that's a perfect place to start. Because over time, we're gonna work our way down and get to where we can go to a full depth squat without our knee hurting. Hey guys, I hope this quick tip was helpful for you. I know a lot of people have knee pain. That's actually what I dealt with for almost my entire cheer career. Really made things not fun at times. So I'm very passionate about knee pain. Try this one exercise and see if it helps. And if it does, let me know in the comments below. I know it seems simple, but sometimes the best fix is not always the most challenging one. It can be really easy as well. If you are looking for more videos on knee pain, click on the link above. We have a handful more there that could help you out. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click our logo. It should look kind of like this, and it'll be right about there. Click that, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll catch you on the next video.